there we go. He's in the in the cab, is he? Mato, uh, on the way to this Legends lunch. Thanks so much for joining us, mate. Mate, what a day. We've got Gordon Tallis, Adam Reynolds, uh, Wendell Saylor, uh, Billy Moore, and finally Alfie Langer's the, uh, the the dessert on top of everything for half an hour telling stories that have never been heard before because everyone's going to have their phones locked away. Absolutely brilliant, mate. Here's a question for you. Is it important that the new All Black captain has a social media profile? No, of course it's not. That's Isn't that a... a the job for the team if he wants to have one he can but no why well i mean this has been dis- this is what new zealand rugby is about these days mate it's about instagram oh. likes and it's about tiktok dances i mean for god's sake what is the all black captain's job greg it's to hit ruck smash people in tackles stomp them into the ground win test matches for our country isn't it how many insta friends does Artie savia have anyway no oh, he's got heaps he got hundreds of them mate oh, that's yeah like captain He'll be captain then, Beardy. No, it's going to be Scott Barrett, we think. And, you know, I, I actually wish the All Black captain didn't have a profile on it. So what if he does or doesn't? Does it, does it, yeah. This is why we don't win World Scott Cups, Barrett mate. The robot? You know, an old school guy that actually just prepares himself well to captain his country. How about that? I can't believe you guys. <laughs> I thought we were petty and stupid in the media over here. Is that the focus at the moment? That's one of them, mate. Let's talk about your Reds. You're at the Drua. Can you beat them at their place? I'm nervous, mate. We uh, we don't have historically. We don't have a very good record against them, and we've rested. We've rested a few key players. Don't take the Drua easily. We're trying to overcome the Chiefs and get into fourth spot. I'm I'm nervous, but oh, yeah, I'm I'm really nervous because we're such an up and down team. The Reds. We need to learn how to win every bloody week. Uh, how about your Broncos and Magic Round? Oh, what about them Broncos? Um, oh, mate, against Manly, who knows? Without Tommy Travojevic, are they the same team, the, the Manly Seagulls? Uh, the Broncos, they tell me they're looking good. I was with Kevy Walters yesterday. He reckons they're, oh, of course they're going to say they're going to win. So I'll say yes, but the biggest thing is, it's not so much about the Broncos this weekend. If, I think they're pouring. This is the largest tourism event, and Queensland's the tourism capital of uh, Australia. This is the largest tourism weekend in Australia after only, what the hell long has it been going? Three years. They reckon they'll pump $50 million into the economy. Wow. Don't worry about anything else. When you get blokes coming to town, eating, drinking, farting, staying in hotels and cats and cabs, she's the money flowing around. And they're already in town. They got, they got here two days earlier, all the drunks, it's all the uh, all the adults. It's, it's amazing. I'm even going to go down. I haven't got any tickets, but I'm going to go and just lurk in Caxton Street and just laugh my head off on Saturday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sell out, sell out, sell out, sell out. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it's extraordinary. We're, 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 or do I need to explain? We're yeah, a little explain. bit mad about explain. it. Yep. We're a little bit mad. It's uh, oh, it, the, the hype, and this is starting it today. This is this lunch sort of kicks the whole magic uh, weekend off, and then the Origin tonight. There's twenty five thousand people. They reckon going to the Women's Origin tonight. Like. Imagine that five years ago. It's, it's extraordinary. I don't know what's happened to us. We're all mad. Okay. Fafita. David what? Fafita. Would you get married to this guy or would you, or would you suspect that he'd leave you sitting at the altar waiting? <laughs> it's like a pair of teenagers. Have you, I don't know if you've been keeping up with it, but on Tuesday night, of course, his management rang the roost and said, oh, we're having second thoughts. So they immediately withdrew the offer. And then in the last, uh, since then, it's been, oh, no, we said we were dropped. It's like a pair of teenagers dropping each other. Oh, no, I said it first. Oh, no, I said I said you were dropped. I dropped you. It's unbelievable the way it's playing itself out. And uh, and then there was a story, I don't know if you saw it, the CEO of the Titans says the reason he stayed was for family because the CEO says before each Titans game, I go in with a packet of Monte Carlo biscuits and I give his grandmother and mother a, a, a cup of tea and Monte Carlo biscuits and that's what made him stay at the Titans. Have you ever heard anything like that before? Biscuit diplomacy. You know, you got to want, I mean, so these are adults that are actually signing deals, are actually saying to somebody else, yes, they look them in the eye, they give their word, all of that kind of stuff. It doesn't mean a jack does it, as far as his NRL contracts are concerned. It doesn't seem to be, but he still hasn't spoken to the Roosters, so that's a problem. And, you know, with some of these quiet, quiet Polynesian lads, they leave it all up to their managers. And what are managers? They're mongrels just looking for their 7%. So I think he's been 
he'll get a wicked name out of this, and he already has, and it's probably not his doing. He, who knows whether he ever agreed to the Roosters? There's so much murky waters. Or did Gordon Tallis, his ambassador for the Titans, did he threaten him? <laughs> threaten him? Who knows? It's just dodgy ass. All right. How does this lunch end up, mate? At what time does it end up? What day does it end? Alan Langer, who's the final act, today. Uh, I, I don't know whether you guys follow his social career but uh, he's gotten away with more things than any other athlete in Australia and he's promised he'll be there still swinging at the end and his favourite drinks vodka and Red Bull. What do you reckon? Sunday. Cheers, mate.